Trade Secretary Liz Truss swiftly shut down ITV political host Robert Peston over his claims that Boris Johnson had been forced into concessions on the coronavirus rules. Boris Johnson has faced a stunning Tory backbench rebellion over the imposition of stringent coronavirus lockdown rules across the country. However, Liz Truss hit back at Robert Peston's claims that the Prime Minister faced losing control of the party as a result of the row. She bluntly told Mr. Peston, I completely disagree with the premise of your question. Mr. Peston said, it is extraordinary that Boris Johnson can lead your party to such a victory and yet so many Tory MPs, including those we thought of as his passionate supporters, have turned against him. How has it come to this? Ms. Truss said, I don't accept the premise of your question at all. We have a robust parliamentary democracy, and members must make their voices heard. The government has agreed that there will be votes on key national measures where there is time to do that. Mr. Peston pointed out, but you have been forced into doing that though? Ms. Truss responded, of course we had to act quickly in the first instance but Parliament will now be involved in voting on key national measures. The ITV host said, this is a Prime Minister who not long ago seemed a bit frustrated with the workings of parliamentary democracy. The fact is he has been forced by his own MPs against his will to do something he didn't want to do. Ms. Truss fired back, I completely disagree with the premise of your question. We want to make sure that Parliament is engaged, that people of this country are engaged, so they know why we are taking the measures we are taking, so we can save lives and keep the economy going. The Trade Secretary's defense of Mr. Johnson comes after days of criticism from Tory rebels furious about being sidelined by Downing Street in key lockdown decisions. Earlier in the day, Mr. Johnson had agreed to give MPs more of a say over future coronavirus restriction in a dramatic concession. The House debated the renewal of the emergency coronavirus legislation that granted sweeping powers to ministers on Wednesday. A rebel amendment tabled by Graham Brady, chair of the influential 1922 Committee of MPs, was not selected by the Speaker Lindsay Hoyle to be voted on for procedural reasons. However, the Speaker lambasted the government for making sweeping rules without the approval of Parliament, saying it was completely unsatisfactory. There is understood to have been 80 Tory MPs backing Sir Graham Brady's amendment to the Coronavirus Act, giving them enough votes to defeat the government.